Ming Alaba. Elections are coming in Myanmar, but what does your ballot mean? This video is not about any political party, but about how democracy works or should work. Democracy, democracy. What a big and loaded word. To some, it is a symbol of fairness and freedom, but many others may not understand it or worse still, have given up on it. In China, democracy has been absent for more than 70 years. Today, Myanmar is still in its transition to democracy. But have you ever wondered, what does true democracy look like? Unfortunately, there isn't a singular answer. Democracy boiled down and simplified refers to a government that the people have a say in. Today, this is usually done via a vote during an election once every few years. Selected representatives form the government and make the laws. Here's the problem. Voting might be important, but it is far from enough. Dropping in a ballot paper once every few years is not enough. This ought to be the least you can do and not the most. While there are many flavours of democracies, the one common element is you. In any real democracy, you, me, we the people have to take part or the process falls apart. Myanmar has not conducted that many elections to date. In fact, less than half the population has voted in the last general election. Some people vote along party lines, others choose the best representatives, and still some listen to their parents. One vote amongst millions may seem insignificant, but it all adds up. Recent history shows that countries that have become democratic have stayed democratic. Though the outcomes for the people are mixed, it's safe to say that democracy wouldn't be going away. You might think that democracy came from America, but the truth is that the first modern democracy was the short-lived Corsican Republic in 1755. The concepts of democratic process have been around since over 2,000 years ago. Remember, it was only 100 years ago when every American woman got the right to vote. Today, gridlock is a word that many have used to describe the state of America's democracy and even failed states like North Korea have democratic in their name. It clearly isn't enough for a country to be democratic by name. While it may seem like democracy is broken in some places, the way to make it work is not to give up and walk away, but to engage in it and look for solutions within. Only then can there be a democracy of deeds. Whether you support or disagree with the government of the day, know that democracy doesn't exist once every five years. You can take part by making your voice heard sharing what you believe in, talking to your elected representatives, or even running for office. Remember that this is your country, and if you happen to be living in a democracy, it's not the government, it's our government. It's easy to be an armchair critic or someone who doesn't care or get involved. But as Aung San Suu Kyi once put so well, you may not think about politics, but politics thinks about you. As Myanmar continues her transition to democracy, how will you be part of it? Vote wisely. Jesudin Bade.